Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to the Star Trek Lower Decks Season 4 official trailer. This also dropped while I was out of town. I almost just watched it, but then I was like, wait, I can react to this. So I haven't, I haven't actually seen it yet, besides maybe like the opening shot. Last season on Lower Decks, I don't remember everything that happened on last season. I do remember last season we had the really awesome Deep Space Nine crossover. It was fantastic. Uh, Deep Space Nine is definitely one of my all-time favorite Star Trek shows. So when the theme song started playing, very emotional for me. Well, maybe not. I mean, not visually emotional, maybe. I don't remember exactly how I reacted, but gosh, that, that, that song gives me chills. I hope we get something like that this season. Maybe not Deep Space Nine. Just anything, just a significant, like, maybe cameo of someone from previous Trek would be great. But... I don't know. I, I'll, I'll enjoy the show regardless. We were teased with someone picking up Rutherford's old implant, which has the badgy virus on it. I mean, I'm assuming that's going to be continued upon. I did see the poster for the season. I love that they've been parodying the Star Trek movie posters. It's fun to look at them side by side. But I did see Badgie on on the poster, so... Presumably he is going to be in the season playing a role. But yeah, I don't... I mean, I have seen a couple, like, screen grabs of the trailer. Specifically the one of Ransom and Shax doing the, the, the Crusher Indiana stretches from Next Generation. And someone on Facebook, I believe, post, or pointed out the Voyager Bridge, uh, which I would not have recognized uh, on my own. So I'm kind of glad that... That was pointed out to me. I plan on watching this once and reacting to it and then sort of scrubbing through some significant things, things that maybe I recognize. If I don't recognize something, I'll probably just glance over it. If there's something that I don't see or don't recognize, please point it out to me. Speaking of which, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about the video, the trailer, please put it in the comments. Also. If you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Uh, I do uh, Star Trek reactions, but I also do other sorts of reactions as well. So hopefully you'll stick around. I don't believe I have anything else to say before getting into this, so I will go ahead and get into it. At the edge of the universe. Starfleet intercepted a distress call. Command thinks could be related to the recent attacks. At the brink of destruction. <laughs> oh. The attacks have all been non-Federation ships, but now someone's targeting Starfleet. They're sending the Cerritos? I guess we're finally getting some respect. Uh, oh, oh, man, I have to start with holodeck waste removal. Blech. Your odor will be repulsive. These are the voyages of the crew I am excited to see the new Cerritos. Vulcan Ensign. We finish each other. Dial Fantine equation. <laughs> <laughs> too used to this kind of work. Promotions are coming up, and I think you'll be very happy. Wait, really? As long as nothing goes sideways today. Oh boy. Oh, 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 ah, all good. Ah, I love it actually. All part of the ambiance. On <laughs> September 7th. Maybe. Holy f they will have one chance. Ah. We'll be friends no matter what our ranks are. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. To prove <laughs> that they can be more. We've worked together for years. I trust you. <laughs> then simply. Lower deck. Lower deck. Slow down. Slow down. Dude, this is nothing compared to you know that Pike thing we aren't supposed to talk about. <laughs> A new season of Star Trek Oof. Lower Decks. Oh man, am I in the game? Move along home. Alamarine, count to mm. four. Okay, okay. There's a lot to unpack here. First off, I will say that there are definitely things that I'm like, okay, this is definitely a reference to something, but I don't recognize it off the top of my head. It's not something that's like. Like, oh my gosh, it's that thing, you know? So bear with me. Uh, if you want to, you can point it out in the comments. But I am going to scrub through this now and hopefully pick up on things that I didn't pick up on the first watch through. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm assuming these recent attacks are something to do with what was teased at the end of last season with Rutherford's 
implant and badgy and that'll be like the arc the overarching plot of the season got some Raugulins, some Klingons just getting vaporized like I said I'm super excited to see this uh, Vulcan Ensign join them uh, hopefully hopefully it's a good combination uh, I think I think they'll do a good job of writing ho ho write, uh, writing for the season writing the interactions between these characters hopefully they don't intentionally write her out just so that we're back to the, the original four lower deckers I hope, hopefully she'll stick around and be a, an important part of the series as it goes forward I do believe it lower decks has been renewed for season five so so there is there is more there. Uh, I don't know what, why this is happening, but everyone's in their underwear and doing a human, well, maybe not human, but a, a person pyramid. Not sure why. And they look really tired. So it's probably something, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no guesses. Uh, love me some Rutherford and Tendi. <laughs> Just being cute and stomping their feet that's so cute i love that um what was that oh, okay it's uh doodles of all of them on the sequoia and then see they seem to be fixing up here's boimler doing the holodeck waste removal like he mentioned uh promotions are coming up and i think you'll be very happy Wait, really? okay yeah so yeah this is uh ransom teasing him about getting a promotion and then I'm assuming the rest of the episode will be Boimler scrambling to do everything perfectly. We get Ferengi with Tendi and Rutherford. What is something Lodge? But Tendi and Rutherford are like being pushed together as a couple, which I'm okay with if they're okay with that. Uh, I, I totally ship them. But, I don't know, they seem to be somewhat uncomfortable in this situation, so hopefully... I don't know. I, I don't know what their purpose is here for, like, what they're here doing here, if they're here by their own will, or if they are forced here for whatever reason, or just happen to be here, and now they're being pushed into each other as a couple. And maybe this will help them figure out if they want to be a couple or not. We'll see. We've got a solid cloud landing on a planet... Uh, this seems to be the same planet that uh, Captain Freeman and Ransom were landing on earlier in the trailer. Uh, more Boimler struggling. Uh, Lower Decks ladies doing some, I don't know, maybe having a girls' night. I, it, it's really hard to predict some of these things. I like the outfits, though. They're at, Okay, yeah, they're at a club. And this is where... Mariner gets daggered. Not the same dagger that that lady was holding, though. So they did a they did a a cut between the scenes. This is two different daggers. I'm glad to see them with the the Vulcan ensign, though. Uh, but this seems to be a an, an Orion bar. Also, like I never know when the new seasons are going to be coming out until. The trailers come out so i was like surprised i was like oh this is coming up soon uh when when i saw that the trailer had been dropped and the poster had been dropped so i was like oh this is a lot sooner than i was expecting Whoopsie. whoopsie is that what it said don't know what the context of that is but okay kind of cute no idea what's going on here Holy love the censorship uh, it's fun. Here's the... <laughs> uh, Shaxx and Ransom stretch. Fantastic. We got the line of, uh, no matter what our ranks are, we have to stay, we're gonna stay friends no matter what type of thing. I don't know why Rutherford has bags under his eyes here. I don't know, it looks like uh, the girls' night is gonna turn into something else. Or maybe they're on a mission and they're like trying to be undercover discreet and that's why they went to the bar i don't know we'll see fighting badgie 
which is pretty significant. Should be interesting to see that. Testing out the Sequoia, I think that's what it was called. We've got a some sort of event happening in the mess hall. Is that Captain Freeman? Because, I don't know. It doesn't really look like her to me, but it could be her. Something about Romulan Ale, something somewhere on her hat. And then other characters dressed up fancy. Interesting. Got those, uh, the ship from the beginning again. Oh, wait, 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 no way. Wait a minute. Is this, is this Grand Nagus Rom and freaking Lita? Is that her name? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a minute. This is, oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. No way. I was not expecting to get any more Deep Space Nine uh, deep cuts, I guess you could call them. That's so exciting. Uh, we got some more Orions that look piratey. I don't want to make an assumption, but they look like they're swashbuckling. Okay, this okay, this is the, the Voyager bridge that someone pointed out. Uh, I'm assuming that's like just supposed to be like a Tom Paris mannequin thing, but I don't know what this creature is. Don't know who that guy is. But this is nothing compared to, you know, that pike thing we aren't supposed to talk about. And then there's the reference to the Strange New Worlds crossover, of course. I don't know why they can't talk about it, though, because, like, it's not like they can affect anything in their timeline. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's the same as Laon not uh, being able to talk about her time travel experience but still it's like you're like you're in the future you're not you're not changing the past by revealing the past although i guess you could get in trouble for interfering with stuff even though there was really no repercussions for it it's whatever oh man am i in the game move along home alamarine count two four <laughs> Okay, yeah, I know that's a reference to something, but I don't know it off the top of my head. I could not tell you. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited for Grand Nagus Rom. Uh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> so freaking happy, man. I was not expecting to get any more DS9. <sighs> fantastic. Yeah, I mean, the season looks fantastic from what I can tell. I don't I mean, I'm sure there are probably references I missed, especially that last one. Um, I want to say it's a Voyager thing, but I could be way off. It, it has been a while since I've seen some of the classic Trek shows. All of the, I guess all of the tra classic Trek shows. It's been a while. I have seen them. It's been a while. So it's easy for me to forget some of the references that are there. So feel free to point out anything in the comments. But yeah, it looks it looks like a lot of fun. I will be reacting to it on the channel. At least that's the plan. Hopefully nothing comes up between now and then, but you never know. Things things happen, life happens. Other than pointing out details that I missed, please let me know what you guys thought about this trailer in the comments. Uh, let me know what you thought and what you're excited for in the season. I am stoked. I mean, fortunately we still have a few more episodes of Strange New Worlds coming out before this new season of Lover Decks. So we've we've got we've got a, a good handful of track coming out in the in the near future. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it and seeing what happens next. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for your support. I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've been getting with my Lower Decks crossover reaction. Hopefully you guys will stick around. But I believe that's all I have for this video. So hopefully I will see you guys when the season premieres.